Hey guys, Fabian Vic here and welcome to another review. Today we are looking at uh, Samurai, Japanese organic cotton, also known as Kojendo. Kojendo and organic Japanese cotton, same thing. And it comes in this pack and it's available from various, uh, I've seen it in various uh, vapor uh, vaping website shops. Um, and in this pack you get three pads. Uh, three large pads uh, in America it's four dollars in the UK it seems to be about three pound fifty or four pounds um, and basically you get three pads of organic cotton uh, I was making a purchase on the site anyway and I just thought I'll grab some and just check it out and I thought I should put it put it in a video for you guys just if you're wondering what the crack is why this specialist vaping Japanese cotton versus just buying a, a normal pack of organic Japanese cotton in pads. Um, so, in this video, I will re wick this atomizer um, and show you the cotton in action and take it out of the packaging and all that. And then we'll come back up and vape on it. So, uh, let's go do that. See you in a sec. Okay, guys, this is Samurai Organic Japanese Cotton imported from Japan and it comes in a bag like this. Uh, also known as Kojendo, guys, don't be thinking what's the difference between Kojendo and Japanese Cotton. It's the same and it comes in these pads. Now you see I've got, I've got two sort of two pads. Uh, you actually get three pads in these packs. Uh, and we'll talk about that more a bit more up top, but you get three pads and I've used one. So you get these pads out, put them to, I'll put, the, I'll put that in the corner there, so you've got that little product placement throughout. They come in these pads like this, and they look like this up close. Um, yeah, but here's the first thing. I'm, sh I'm sure you guys all know this, but oh, I'm, I'm running through it anyway. Um, you don't want to use this very outer strip on either side of the pad. You want to just use the inner. So if you start peeling, you can see that the outer pad, bit of the pad, is uh, it's a little bit more uh, firm and a bit more together. Whereas inside here, it's all lovely and fluffy and soft. I hope you can see the difference with my rubbish camera. And so I'll peel this bit off again. And it is simply that section that you want to have like that. And so you want something like this. And so that's a nice strip. Um, so what I will then do is get your scissors. Do not try and tear and twist and pull like you would with uh, your typical cotton. What you want to do is use scissors on this one and you want to get it to the right size that you want to use. Um, I took a tiny bit off for what I'm doing with this one. Okay, so. What I then do is I actually take the corner up there. Now you don't need to do this. This is just me being a bit of a loser. But I still like to turn it like this. And then we will get our test specimen here, which is a tugboat uh, with some coils in. I wonder if I can get even closer for you guys. Let's get even closer to the action. Okay, so I've got Got the old tugboat on here. Look at that. Boosh. I have to wait for that to cool down now. Okay, so this is tricky on camera. It shouldn't be, but it is. Uh, but you, you basically just stick it through. Stick it right through like this. You got it like that. Let's do another one. I don't know if you can hear the rain, it's really raining hard, sorry about that. Let's go through the other way so we're not getting in our own way. Ok, 
Okay. Ooh. Okay. So I'll just tidy that up really quick, and uh, we'll poke it through. Okay. <laughs> so we've got slightly neater. Uh, I don't do a lot of builds on cameras. It's probably why. But uh, I'm just gonna poke this right underneath here. Both sides. I can literally not do it on camera, guys. Sorry. Okay, so I've quite simply just stuffed them both through and poked them both around like so. And let's get some juice. Okay, let's get some DMC Digby's Mum's Custard uh, High VG Edition. Let's juice her up. Juice it right up. Right down the bottom of the bottle. So it's taking some doing. But you see, you will see just from this shot, like how quickly it does take and it does wick. So I'll finish this off. I'll put some more in. I'll let it just settle a little bit. And uh, we'll go back up top and I'll vape on it and I'll talk about the sh samurai stuff up top. See you in a second. Okay, guys, that was samurai Japanese cotton up close. Um, sorry about that. I have a little bit of a messy build, a little bit of a messy build on camera. I don't do a lot of builds underneath the camera. Uh, I find it incredibly uh, fiddly and, you know, you it's all very self-explanatory stuff um, so what's the crack with this Japanese cotton should you get some um, if you've not tried Kojendo yet Japanese cotton um, in the pad form then maybe worth a punt on some if you're making a purchase anyway uh, just to try out but the reality is that it's a total ripoff in my opinion uh, four pounds for three pads of Japanese cotton if you buy a bigger pack you know three pads isn't gonna last you a very long time uh, if you get a bigger pack you know 15 pads 25 pads the price goes well down you don't need it to say samurai on it doesn't need to say specialist vaping wicking on the packaging uh, it is what it is it is just Japanese cotton pads uh, so my advice would be to just go to anywhere doesn't matter whether it's a vaping site or not and just buy a big pack and then you're set for life aren't you and yeah and it's not a rip off if you buy more packs and you or if you don't buy it with the vaping branding on and stuff uh, so a bit of a rip off is my opinion what are my thoughts on Japanese cotton overall Kojendo overall um, vapes like this vapes really well wicks really well as well um it's really it, it does rick, wick really fast um i'm not sensing any um detrimental flavor or taste um using this using this cotton uh, it doesn't impact on the actual flavor of your juice at all the flavor of your vape um some people say it tastes better than the traditional cotton balls or whatever that we were using before um, I'm not sure I'll go along with that. I don't really detect much of a difference in taste. Um, but I do feel like it does wick faster. Um, so for that reason alone, it is worthwhile. I do feel it wicks really well. And Phil Basado, if you go and check out, he did a special uh, video on uh, wicking. A very, very long video. Um, but it did actually sort of prove in a slightly scientific way that it does wick quicker than normal cotton. So go and check out that video if you're interested in the science of it or you want to see see it in, in, in uh, action wicking really fast and stuff. Um, so I do believe it wicks really fast. Another thing I would say, and a lot of places make this claim and a lot of people make this claim that it's more durable and lasts longer in, in your atty um, than normal cotton. I would say the opposite. I would say it's a great vape with Japanese cotton in and it wicks really fast and it's really easy to use because it's in these square strips as well. Um, and it tears down really nice or it cuts down really nice. Uh, really easy to work with. But I would say it doesn't last as long as the traditional cotton balls that you might have used before. 
Um, I think it's less durable, I think, because it's finer and it's in those straight threads. I think it just gets gunked up and, and messed up quicker. Not a lot quicker, but I do find myself changing Japanese cotton builds quicker than I used to do with the old cotton. Um, purely, 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 purely my anecdotal evidence there. Um, the other thing is I've continued using the traditional cotton in the K-funds because the K-fun is like the mother of all ruining cotton type, ruining wick material type atty. Um, and, and I'm sure you've got, used a K-fun and you've had a K-fun. When you take it off when you've finished and you're going to do a new build on it, it is so gunked up and nasty in there. I, I found it didn't last two minutes with Japanese uh, organic cotton in the K-fun. Uh, I felt like two full tanks and I needed to re-wick it. Uh, with the K-Fun, whereas with the old-fashioned cotton, um, it seems to last four or five tanks, you know, So unless you change the flavour, obviously. Um, so I would say that. I would say that it is better. It is really good, this Japanese cotton. It's not a fad. It's not a phase. It's really good stuff. Um, but don't believe all the hype. It's not a massive game-changer. Uh, it's just wicks really nice and it's really easy to work with. Um, that's all I've got to say. Uh, no point going on and on about it. Um, Samurai, Japanese organic cotton, vapes great, works great. It's a bit of a rip off. I think they're just capitalizing on the vaping market. Just go and buy it somewhere else, any normal place, uh, in a bigger pack, get more cheaper. That's my advice on this. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I'll vape my way out. See you in a sec.